fix that. Hi, there is sound now. Welcome to Zero Page oh, Homebrew. <laughs> uh, this is Darcy. You can't lip read? Come on. Come on. Step Come it on. up. Step up your game. Come on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, no audio issues. Never audio issues. We were just talking about how uh, you're up. It yes. It's 8 p.m. there now. Yes. And that's all. Um, that you, it's you, that's, the weekend. You're caught up. <laughs> yep. You're all caught up now. Um, <laughs> welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. It's Friday. We're going to play some homebrew games on a classic console the atari 2600 which is originally named the atari video computer system until the 5200 came out and then they went uh we're gonna name it the 2600 i think Ooh. that i read that the other day i'm not oh. sure exact does anybody know exactly when and why they switched to 2600 because that is the model number of it so yeah, it was yeah. always the 2600 it was cx two. 2600. Um, but for some, at some point, they switched it over. Yeah, I imagine we just all called it Atari. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, like for, sure. for the Atari. longest time. Yeah, it was just play the Atari. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Thrust 26 still cannot read lips. Well, sorry. Um, you're going to have to get on, get on, getting on that, I guess. Um, so we've got four games today that we're going to play, including a challenge to us that we're going to try and get a patch. Uh, for Astronomer. And we have to get 20 points in Astronomer to get the patch. 20 points? That's nothing! It's so low. It's <laughs> such a low score. It's a minute? We can do it in a minute. Yeah. No problem. Right. And uh, <laughs> Cool Crab is asking about um, a lower quality stream mm -hmm. on Twitch. And I somebody brought that up last episode and I looked into it. And unfortunately you have to be a partner in Twitch. To be able to do multi-streaming. Um, if you're not a partner, you are limited to choosing one stream. And I'm going to do 1080p60. 1080 because it's nice quality and all the equipment's 1080. And 60, well, we have to do 60 because it's Atari 2600. And it outputs at 60 frames a second. As most modern video games as well do output. People want minimum 60 frames a second. Um, so once I become partner, <laughs> I will be able to do uh, multi-stream. But I've fulfilled two out of the three requirements for partner. The third requirement is I have to have an average of 75 viewers constantly, like average at all times. Um, and because we're not playing Fortnite, so an average. <laughs> okay, so average. to average it, yeah. we just need one show that has like, a, a, like what a thousand or yeah. or twenty five thousand viewers. <laughs> twenty five thousand. <000. laughs> a thousand that will, would be fine. That will smear out <laughs> for the to, average to seventy five for a long time, right? I so I don't know how long. It, it's probably a month. I think it's probably a month. <sighs> so every month, every we, month. we need a big glut of right. watchers for the whole episode. Yeah. from start to finish yeah and then they don't have to watch the next one or the next one or the next one just one so maybe the beginning of each month we can request you know a thousand people watch and then you know it's done right or we could <laughs> like uh what we could do like a mission yeah to send a probe to the moon and then the next uh -huh. month we can do one to mm. like series or something so do an outrageous stunt some... once yeah a i month, mean and then go back to atari games that's right <laughs> It's a great idea. So we're taking suggestions <laughs> for crazy stunts oh, that'll bring in... Thrust! I can't believe you no, said that. I Don't do that. We would probably get banned. <laughs> and now we'll definitely get banned because you said it. So you, can't, <laughs> you can't say the nefarious plans out so, loud yeah. when you're an evil mastermind. You have to keep it to yourself, execute the plans, and then later on foil yourself in jail by confessing to your, your jailmate. Of course, why are you in jail if you haven't confessed to it already so anyway you messed it up and we now cannot do the dummy account you're gonna have to figure out another one yes ground trooper thank you for subscribing it's your six month anniversary and i think when you subscribe you're able to type something in um, uh -huh. so you can say something filthy but you can say something filthy anytime but nobody does that because they're all very respectful people <laughs> thank you for subscribing to switch prime and um <clears throat> Uh, yes, that is why all your evil plans have failed, Thrust, because you type them out on the internet for everyone to see, see and uh, it be archived forever. What you really should be doing is typing them out on the internet yes. as someone else. 
Dustin. Oh, no, as somebody as someone else. else, and then uh, they will all. Ever other people will be blamed for. Or they'll your, be uh, distracted by you know the nefarious plans over there, and you can do them. Well, they get blamed too. That's right. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Oh, Gretam's just subscribed as well, and she's just here for the sass. Excellent. <laughs> well, it's a good day for sass. Five months. Five months. Fortnite ported to the Atari would be a great stunt. Actually, some of the big names ported to the Atari got a lot. Like the, did I play Halo? No, it was like Portal once, and what was another uh, big one? Oh, it, it was, was a real tournament. One. Unreal Tournament. Unreal Tur that got a lot of views, too. So, yeah, if somebody could port Fortnite <laughs> and make a Fortnite homebrew, um, we'll do that show, oh, that and we'll play that show once a month. Play yep. Fortnite on the 2600 watts. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Spinley 1970 says. Maybe it'll be a good port. It would be, it would be awesome. You know, you could have your character, and they could build Playfield up, and they could run up the little things that they make, and... You know, they could shoot each other and jump around. It'd be, you know, be a and low, rather than low graphics, version. rather than graphics, we just have tags. So rather than having uh, characters that are like crawling or running, uh -huh. we would just have like, oh, they're red, they're running. Oh, it's green. That <laughs> oh. means they're crawling. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? <laughs> and uh, the first game we're gonna play is kind of like that. It is just a tall green thing, and I think when you duck, it just gets shorter. <laughs> very very simplistic graphics get champ games on it john could do it right yes he only does ports so far so um the games we're going to play today are adventures of the 50 to 50 foot tall stock of celery that's the first game and that's the one i was talking about by chris reed aka 26 atari 2600 land uh second one is called the goons a work in progress by ed riley aka wink dot third one is tron the arcade port by Orange 808. Hmm. We did play that before, but during the nominations, we only had a couple minutes to play each game. So we couldn't get really into it, and I didn't have the right controls. But this time, I have the right controls. Ah. So it'll make it a lot easier, because it's you need two controllers at once to play it. Yes, it's Darcy right there. So those people listening only, <laughs> that's Darcy, and I'm James. Um, <laughs> Yeah, it's right above his head. There you go. Or on his head. <laughs> He's much taller than me. And I'm so kind of slouching. Oh, it just... Got it on my touches. forehead there. Yep. And the last one we're going to play is Astronomer. And we're going to do the patch challenge. We have played it before, a long time ago, on the Retron 77 when I first got that. But this time we're going to play it to 20 points. Or more. The world record's 28. <laughs> so, 20's hard. 20's hard. Uh, and it's made by Alex Pietro, a.k.a. Cool Crab, who is here, who is having trouble watching because <laughs> their connection sucks. Um, we broadcast at 3 megabits per second, um, so around 3 megabits per second, which most people should have nowadays, unless you're on dial-up still or really terrible connection. I'd say it's pretty common to have like 5 megabits down now, you think? I don't know. Anyway, everyone around here has at least five, I'd say. Yeah, I mean... In North America, it's yeah, pretty it's common. Pretty, yeah. And Europe is supposed to be better than... Actually, the whole world I mean, I is supposed to be better. I never believe it, but yeah. <laughs> I never believe the numbers that the cable company tells yeah, you. It's like, oh, it's, yeah, it's tall. It's really high. It's no really problem. High. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if you have your Tandy 1200 baud modem, you might experience lag. <laughs> you might experience one frame a minute, actually, if you're on 1200 baud modem. Well, it's just that you will be waiting for the buffering until the show's over, <laughs> and then some. And then you And might. then for a few days. Yes. <laughs> and then you can watch it. And then you get one frame. <laughs> How long would it do, take to do one frame at, uh, at 1080p on a 1200 baud modem? Because I remember 1200 baud modems. They would take a long time to draw one screen at a, with yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah, with ASCII. Yeah. And each of those characters is like a byte. <laughs> so yeah it's slow um i want to thank all the people that have tuned in uh to watch the show spinley 1970 ground trooper gretams rc70 cool crab thrust 26 i supposed uh that's everybody who's typed in the chat and hello to all the lurkers as well i want to thank the twitch subscribers and the resubscribers 
Uh, Charles in check, Ground Trooper, I supposed to, Johnny WC23, Mr. Fix, RC70, Shazam 1970, Tiki Dan Cake, Redham's just resubscribed, and uh, Ground Trooper must have just resubscribed yeah. as well. They were already on my list that I checked today, so. I think that's what awesome. The, uh... Yeah. And he's uh, six months. And speaking of months, it's been 12 since we started the show. Ah. Tomorrow. Ah. Tomorrow. Happy is. almost birthday. Happy almost birthday. <laughs> I mean, we don't have a show tomorrow, so it's this is the closest show to the one year anniversary. Am I supposed to pour out some for the? Uh, uh, no, that's how the show died. Clink. There we go. Seven megabits per second currently. Oh, that's what you have, not what we're broadcasting at. So thrust is fine. So oh, so five <gasps> at twelve hundred baud. <coughs> and how many? days is that <laughs> uh, i mean 5800 that's like you divide by 60 that does it evenly so that's 100 minutes so just mm. over an hour you know almost per, an hour and a half per frame. or two hour, an hour and a half per frame so that's a lot of buffering it's a lot of lag time and that's just video mm -hmm. i would definitely switch to just audio if you're on 1200 baud modem yeah because you might get a uh, after a minute yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um so congratulations to us for a year of broadcasting. Um, it has flown by because we're old now and the <laughs> days and years flow by like nothing. <laughs> yeah. Like the anniversary of the Tesla Roadster going to space on a massive rocket yeah. was just a few days ago. Oh, wow. And I was like... Wasn't like, that yesterday? That seemed like it did not... Like that was not a year ago to me. No. Yeah. yeah. That was... <clears throat> yeah. I was not wonder what it's like ago. when you're like 60 you're just like, it's like oh yeah it must be oh, oh maybe <laughs> i'll get a whole meal in today before the day is over <laughs> <clears throat> i mean uh, i always think that having doing something new each day makes the time go slower mm -hmm. because i've always theorized and i have read it that it's because you're younger a lot of things are new to you yep and it's like, oh, that's a new thing. That's a new thing. And as you go old, get older, you you have a job and you do the exact same thing every day. Mm -hmm. And and it's very apparent, like, oh, wasn't that just yesterday I did that? It's like, no, oh, no, it's a week has passed. Yeah. It's because you did the exact same thing every day mm -hmm. for five days during the working week, and they blend together. You can't separate it out. You can't go, oh, I went skydiving that way. Then I went scuba diving. Then I did BMX uh riding on that day or whatever it's all different yeah. and they don't blend together because it's new experiences and when you're 80 you sit in a chair and you watch game shows and <laughs> you, do you have to and you eat pablum <laughs> do you, you have, have to, to. that's oh. by law in most countries <laughs> that's what happens and they they blend together even more because you don't even you don't go to work you're retired usually it's definitely better for your brain to learn new things Yes. Like, even if it's something like uh, balancing on one foot with your eyes closed. <laughs> like, if yeah. that's not a thing that you have mastered and you yeah. just... Or looking up with Like, your at eyes night, open. you just, like, close your eyes and try to balance on one foot or on your tippy toes or whatever it takes. Yeah. And it's a thing that you're not used to. And so your, your brain is, like, building new... Connections. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and it makes it work harder, and there's more going on in there, I guess. Mm -hmm. It has to try, so it's forced to, like, clean up the mess. <laughs> it's like, right. oh, we have this room over here. Let's uh, build a new balancing uh, routine over in... Oh, look at... Oh, nobody's been in here for years. Dust, dust, <laughs> dust, vacuum, Let's vacuum. Clean up. I don't, know if, that's, some new I don't know if the vacuuming actually happens, but that's I how know. I like to uh, imagine it. Because a lot of people think, oh, new memories force out old, useless ones. But no. I, don't, I don't think that's true. It's not how it works. It's just new connections being made. But the thing that forces out the thing that forces out old memories. Out of water, we just started. The thing that forces out old memories is remembering them. Yeah. Yeah. When you remember, they would when you rem them. when you no no, it when you remember something, it's gone, and you rewrite it. Oh, you yeah, you definitely rewrite. You it. rewrite it, and usually but wrong. But the original one is gone. <laughs> really. Yeah, because you don't need two places to store it. It's like it's it, weird it like, that way, but it like, probably disconnects or, the old one. Or you one. overwrite it or something like it, like 
like remembering it. If yeah. you if you go years and years and years and years and years without thinking of a thing, and then it comes to you, that's probably the most honest uh, memory. That's probably the truest memory that you'll ever have of, of that yes. sort of thing, of an old memory. Yeah, because you know <clears throat> people that tell stories, and you've been friends with them, and they tell the same story over and over again. It changes slightly each time sometimes. And so yeah. that's like the rewriting of it each sometimes, time. And it gets updated or... Sometimes you know, people go from telling a story about you and then... The fish and gets then, bigger and bigger and bigger. And then it's them. <laughs> then the story is oh. they did this thing. <laughs> you know, know somebody who did that? Yeah. That's so... Two mm. stories. Two stories that are <laughs> definitely my stories. And I've heard them tell them as my stories. That's funny. And then... Because I've heard, you know, that, that thing where <laughs> the parent tells the story about the kid and the kid hears it mm -hmm. and they can't remember the original because they can't remember actually doing it also All you can't remember past the, the having it told to you over and over again yeah because it just drowns it out um and then that becomes the story even though you can't remember your first hand experience yeah. of but it. you can imagine it and so by imagining it you you fill in the blanks and yeah. then you have that memory even though you didn't have that yeah memory. This, that's probably the biggest problem is you're filling in blanks yeah and sometimes that the blanks are there. <laughs> sometimes the blanks are one hundred percent of the story because you don't remember any of it. Yeah, just the, <laughs> the big outline of it. Uh, oh, what were we here for? Oh, we're gonna oh, play some Atari okay. games. Oh, I will stop blathering about okay. you know ignorantly about whatever. Oh, there's an issue. So start keep blabbing because I did not put them on the cartridge. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. It's usually one thing that I always forget to do. <laughs> this is my fault. Mostly. I came in with this box of videotapes from uh, the turn of the millennium and <laughs> and uh, yes. distracted our man James yes. from, from his duties. Completing my task. I probably still would have <laughs> forgotten anyway. Yeah. It's always something that I forget. Yeah. Um, hmm. Do you want to open this package? I do. Without showing this side or this side to the audience? <sighs> Because um, we oh. have some mail here. Stop trying to see the address, you naughty, naughty viewers. That's right. <laughs> I have a post office box if you do want to send games I'm going to get in trouble if I don't do this right. Well, if, yeah. if I scratch the box or something, if that's probably it, I will be banished. It's probably pretty safe, the box, but it's good anyway to not scratch the I'm box. It's supposed to cut away from me. It doesn't work well when I tilt the monitor. To, yeah, you can't look around the monitor cats do that you know when they see something on a tv <laughs> or and it goes off the screen or a mirror or and they go around the tv <laughs> to go look at it yeah it doesn't work so well <laughs> but they think it works well um and that's like a good instinct that they have i've never had such difficulty getting into a plastic bag before it's probably because you're being more careful than normal i am that is exactly the reason <laughs> You don't want to destroy what's ever. Because I am there. showing some care. And also, <laughs> you can't show the address, and that is. Oh, that, that, okay. That, that That's fine. Uh, it just comes off easy. Um, so I'm gonna load up the games today. Oh, unnecessary. Um, Packaging. Unnecessary controllers. <laughs> unnecessary. I I I seem to recall you saying shortly after buying these oh. that it turned out they were unnecessary. <laughs> Yeah, but they might be better than the one I have because I did play <clears throat> with the one I have. So I bought these um, to play on my C64 Mini. Not to look away. Oh, now you have to cover your face. There you go. And the one I do, they're USB um, mm -hmm. controllers. Um, and But the USB... Used with Raspberry Pi. Control, yeah, you can use it there too. And I do have a, a nice little Raspberry Pi case as well. Very cute little one. Almost done. So I've stalled them for just <laughs> a little bit longer. I have one more game to transfer over. No research <laughs> and no prep. What a great show. Yeah. Uh, somebody complained one time that... I did no research and no prep for the show, and they're very upset that I didn't have exactly the right information. But you know, things happen, and I'm not getting paid for this, so, well, I'm getting paid a tiny bit. 
from the donations. So I apologize to all Look, the subscribers. It has storage for SD cards on the bottom. What? Yeah. Are they specifically it's, for that? It says micro SD storage. Oh, <laughs> and wow. And you just put this on and then they just sort of rattle around in there. Rattle, rattle, rattle. They don't clip in. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> So the first game we're going to play is Adventures of the 50-Foot-Tall Stock of Celery. I actually like shooting from the hip on shows. It makes it a little bit more real. And I was always more drawn to radio and television shows that were a little bit lower tech and they weren't like slick and organized and perfect all the time remember that when when i was re what i was saying earlier about uh, on the road shows <laughs> yeah but that's like you could do better i don't know i do try very hard on this show to make everything look and sound as good as possible i know <laughs> <laughs> and uh, i watch you do it yeah that's right <laughs> and it stresses me out when things are bad and not good where are we, where are they? Uh, are they today. Oh, yep. Is... That's today. Click it. Click it. <laughs> and it's the first one. And then it is the, that second one. And then it is that one. <laughs> there you go. What? It's a lot of subfolders. Celery! Celery! So just wait a second. So this is Adventures of the 50 Foot Tall Stock of Celery. Probably one of the longest names for a video game but it just says celery on there because there's no way you'd be able to well you probably you could fit that on there just smaller typing cats are up to no good so far they're okay but they have that look in their eyes they're on their way to banishment they're um, not there yet no so this is done by chris reed aka 2600 land uh oh no you started it am i not supposed to you're supposed to start it uh oh how come there's no sound there is. Uh, that they are getting. Oh my god. Oh! Oh. I died. Nobody is surprised. What's happening? That's really weird. They Cats, can't hear the sound? did you step on something? No, they can't. I blame the cats. So, they can't hear video game sound? Is no, that they can't hear video game sound. Okay, here I'll do it. Beep! <laughs> Bloop. 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 They can't see it. Bloop. Bloop. Aha, I'm flashing. Bloop. Ground Bloop. Trooper says that uh, that's why you get my prime money. You get to do a quality show that is not Fart Night. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly imperfect. <laughs> on the fly research you know it's real that's right it's up to the minute <laughs> but this is de deeply concerning that you have no sound and i the sound my sound stopped too I, bloop yeah. oh what how did i die that time so you got to make it to the end before the timer runs out oh that's probably how i uh failed i was it's, being far too cautious it's flashing god mode see we're getting sound here Bloop. So Bloop. that means. Bloop. What is happening? Bloop. Bloop. Let me go check Bloop. something. Bloop. Oh. Bloop. No, that didn't Bloop. help. I don't know if I'm. Oh. Uh, I feel as though I let you all down, but I didn't because device. you were hoping that I would die sooner. So that's fine. Nobody can hear the sound, right? Let me know if you can hear the video game sound. It has some music and it has... What? You picked the different episode to play. Ooh. You moved the joystick. But you you didn't finish the first level, did you? No. Oh, well, you can play this one now while I still figure it out. Oh! How many feet tall is that purple thing high? It is 50 foot tall. I don't know how and much... Screen. I, and screen. So divide by three, and that would ah. give you how many meters tall, approximately. Ah, ah, ah! Don't hit the bats. But I think you can ah. hit those things. Get those things. Ah, ah. ah, god mode. But it doesn't last forever. No, it doesn't. So ah! I would keep avoiding them. There you go. No game sound. Okay, thank you. Uh. I will uh -oh. continue to work on trying to get the game sound for you guys. 
Uh, monitor, video ah! game, monitor off. Let's oh, monitor right. output. Let me see. No, that doesn't help. Because you're not playing. Back to one. Finish one. Finish don't, level one. Don't give me your sass. <laughs> it only lets you go forward. Ah! <laughs> there we go. Play so I can test. No. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, did I see something? Oh, oh, no, no, that's not it. Another game where bats are jerks. Is there any video games where bats are helpful? They're always, they're always jerks. They're always going after you. And always going directly for you, usually. Video game sound. Oh, the only thing, the only way I'm going to get video game sound is cutting everyone off, I think. Ah! Don't fall in the water. Hey, be helpful. And watch out for the Scotty dogs. That's what they look like. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> They're very long. convincing. I think the blur works for them. <laughs> it does. <laughs> They're very fast on their feet. Anyway, okay. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I'll do a little reset when... See, it did you just do it? goes forward. Oh, because you're moving forward. Yeah. That's why. Okay, this was... I'm just going to go on with it. You'll have to imagine the sounds. Actually, I'll turn up the sound here. How about that? What what, what did happen to the sound? I have no idea. Sound is misbehaving. It's not being transmitted to the computer. But the sound is coming out of the Atari. Yeah. And it is going to, into the splitter. And it is going to the TV. So it's making it as far as the splitter. Um, or it's going to the frame meister. And then the splitter. But it's not making it from the splitter to the computer. It's not that. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't go into that. Oh, that's it this. It goes through the capture device. Right. But it's getting the video from yeah. from it. Um, we'll figure that out because I'm. Um, maybe I'll reset that. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> you probably hear it now. <laughs> I'm gonna reset the capture device. Okay. Yes. I'm gonna die. Actually, but is, die for is you. my game gonna die? No, actually, I hooked it up now. Oh, guys, I'm doing so good. I'm <laughs> totally winning. Uh oh. Oh, that's weird. That's some kind of feat. Because it's it's <laughs> he lied. It, oh, but I'm not dead yet. I'm still winning. I'm just winning. This oh. One. Yay! Is it working? Yep. Just needed a reset. So it wasn't you, it was the thing. Can you reboot your computer for me, please? <laughs> and then we will continue the troubleshooting. Yeah, so rebooting hardware almost always works. But I didn't want to disrupt the show, so we're back in business now. Hooray! Sound! Yay! Okay, now I'm going to talk about the game. So this is made by Chris Reed, a.k.a. Atari 2600 Land. This build, okay, they first posted the first build of this game in 2011 and this huh. build is from yesterday and so he's been working on this game for over ah. s over seven years it's a long-term game remember when we played castle of doom with those multiple multiple levels and the bats going up and yep. down and kind of you have to get through a maze yep. we did that game ah. which is outstanding and we did finish that game uh, it took a long time um so he has made like a billion games and so this is just some of them like literally he has done like 50, 50 Atari 2600 games. Uh, 2600 Triss, A Alien Greed 1 through 5, Alien Jail, Ants, Aquarium, Art Studio, Bananas Are Good, Bra Bird Brain, Bomber, Castle of Doom, Killer Bees, plus a thousand more. So tons and tons of games. Um, so he posted originally on 2011, October 16th. It's a side scrolling Mario type game where you can move left or right. This, you can't move left anymore. Uh, this is the beginning, a test to see whether I could do this, so I guess I can, so I'm going to continue. Right now I'm working on level one, which is the bridge level. This is the bridge level. Watch out, because there's gaps in the bridge. <laughs> it's more like platforms. I wouldn't call this a bridge. I think he just... It is. It's a bridge across water. You made it! Oh my god, I made it! Level two! Justifiably Legit. playing level two. <laughs> Instead of cheating. So much judgment. Judgment. Sass. Sass for Greta. <laughs> uh, so pretzel is the Mario star, yep. Yeah. yeah, the pretzel is the Mario star. Makes you invincible. Too bad it doesn't kill the bats when you're invincible. 
Well, Not that you need to. I don't know why you're so, like, down on bats. I mean, Well, is... they're attacking you. They're the aggressor. <laughs> I mean, you're just falling down an endless pit. And they're adding to the stress of falling down an endless <laughs> adding pit. Adding to the stress. I mean, I'd be stressed. Oh, no, I'm not going to make it. I don't <laughs> 18, think you can... 17. I don't think you can stop any platforms. You might be able to stop for a little bit. Because otherwise, that'd be silly if you're not Why allowed to The stop. platforms are not there to protect you. They're there to That's kill true. you. That's true. They're there to slow you down. You're almost there. Six, five... Four seconds. You made it. Hit the end. Woo! Woo! First try. First legitimate try. <laughs> true. Because you. Oh, back to the bridge. Um, I haven't programmed this game very far, so there's not a lot to do. But this will change as I add enemies uh -oh. and make more of the level, which he has. Oh, uh, are the those? chickens are Planes? way taller than the dogs. Chickens. <laughs> See, it's a chicken. It's like a rooster running. Might be. Kind of. Legs aren't moving though. Oh, uh, on says, a rope. And then on October twentieth, he said, "Well, level one is complete." Oh, the Gandalf level. That's true. But it'd be um, the Gandalf it'd be more level. Gandalf level if something else was falling with you and trying to attack you as you fell. You know, in uh, Lord of the Rings. Oh, uh, like down into the pit fighting yeah. the Balrog. Yes. Yes, it would be more of a Gandalf level if a Balrog was falling with you. And less bats, more And he Balrogs. was lashing you, and you were, like, smiting him with your sword. I don't know if... Ah! He had his staff. He's, and sword. This, oh, he has a sword, too. Oh, yeah. Celery! Okay, so I'm going to continue with not this level, because we're on level three. So, here. Here, here, here. You continue reading. Bat rugs. Bat rugs. <laughs> Clever. Spindly 1970. Um, there you go. Level one is complete. Well, level one is completed. Even, uh, and even 32 screens, even at least in computer talk. So it should be finishable with about one or two seconds on the clock at the time limit I put <laughs> on. At the time limit I put on level s is, on the level is 67 ah. seconds. Let me know if I need to change that. Also, to end the level, you touch the second item called, oddly enough, the Ender. <laughs> the Ender. <laughs> Touching this will end the level. I'd like to make the level longer, but I need to leave room for an impressive title screen, which I have about 650 bytes left in the bank before I need to move on hell, and try to make, make the cycle count be okay with more than You didn't make me bank. invincible with a little dot on this level. Oh, well. Bonus. Bonus points? I don't There's know. No points. It might be a uh, character because you have four lives now. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No. Uh, oh, three lives. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, which I have 650 bytes left in the bank before I need to move on and try to make the cycle count be okay with more than one bank. I still don't understand why it'd be different with two banks instead of one. Level two will be a mud pit. And you know how much pigs like mud, but first I need to create a title screen. I think he changed that, because level two is a falling forever <laughs> pit. Yeah. Could be a mud pit, I guess, at the bottom. <laughs> uh, ah! He isn't what I should do. Anyway, I was wondering, could I use the title screen kernel and still have missile one be free to use? I made the, the celery missile one in case you haven't figured it out yet. This is why everything that is player one green. This is why everything that is player one green. Yeah, because player one and missile one share the same color. Yes. Same with player zero and missile zero. And play field and ball. The only so thing... what is player one if the if the player is the missile? Um, that would be all the power-ups. Uh, that's why they're the same color as the player. That's right. Or those flying things, so they seem to be green too. And so when you jump, you're shooting yourself. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you are. As a missile. <laughs> it's not. It, that's just what it's programmed. The programming calls it. It's not. The game doesn't call it that. So February 27, 2016, level three is in the clouds. So we're in level three now, in the clouds. Yes. Okay. And then it says February 21st, 2016, which is not in order. I made it. Oh. Pff. <sighs> I almost made it. No, because I, I tried to put them in order of when the levels were completed. Ah. So that uh, just makes more sense. As we progress through the game, I almost made it. I was off by a second. Oh, and you saw end, and then you did yep. not 
I did and not touch the end. I got excited and didn't touch the end. <laughs> In level four, Mr. Celery will fight a dragon. That Ooh. is, if he can get past the barrage of molten rocks being thrown at him. Yes. Ooh. That's supposed to be a dragon head floating in the distance in the lava. I need help designing it as well as the full dragon since I suck at sprite drawing. Oh, and I bet you didn't know dragons can swim in lava. Well, this one can and does. The object of this level is to move forward by pressing right while jumping over and ducking under thrown rocks. Mr. Celery duck. can duck by pressing down, but only in this level. <laughs> no, you can duck in this level, too. You're just not useful. Duck. Oh, but I probably wasted time, and now I won't get to the end by ducking ha -ha. half a second. You only get two sec. You only get one or there two seconds go. to spare. Six. Oh. Ooh. Oh. So you gotta, yeah, you got to move forward. I can't. Five. I can't move left or right. Nope. No, should have jumped over there. Maybe I am moving forward. Oh, I am. He's just getting closer. God. It's deceptive. Like it doesn't feel like you're moving forward. But you are. Okay. Once the dragon gets to a certain point, I plan to have the rock stop being thrown, and the dragon will jump out of the lava and onto the ground. Mr. Celery is on for the big fight. In this big fight that I haven't programmed yet, <laughs> he, he, may dodges, now. he dodges fire breaths and jump on his head when he stops for a little bit. The problem is, I don't know how hard to make the level, how far the dragon head has to travel before he jumps out of the lava. Oh. If a rock hits you, a sound occurs, but nothing happens. Also, <laughs> need to know what should happen if a rock hits you. <laughs> Do you lose a life? Or should Mr. Celery have a health counter for this level? So he's programming by committee. <laughs> uh, or what? In this version, you start at level 4 because it's the level I'm currently working on. These are all uh, old things. So they... Feb 25, 2016. Level 5 will be an underwater level as Mr. Celery dives under the sea. Woo. Waiting for him are vegetarian piranha fish. <laughs> ah, because it's celery. March 15th, 2016. Level 6 is now in game, in the game, but it has the same layout as previous level. This, of course, will change. This this takes place in a giant toilet that someone forgot to flush. <laughs> Mr. Ew. Celery is walking on poop, floating on pee. Ew. And a bowl with him are... So don't... Just skip level 6. <laughs> in the bowl with him are ants. Why ants? Be they have been invading oh, my there. bathroom lately, so I figured they might as well invade this one, too. I looked up oh, the PAL colors and figured that this would do? mostly be black and white go for... Go back to the dragon sure. level. How do I kill him? I have no uh, bullets. You dodge and then jump on his head. Oh, jump on his head. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. 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 I got hurt. Yes, you did. Oh, no! You need to jump on his head when it's safe, not when it's not safe. Ah, uh, when it's not safe, he's... Dead. It's hard to tell when it's not safe. But I was getting hurt. Yeah, that's because his fireball came out when you were still in his face. Uh, so just hit him and run. Yes. Hit him and run. Okay. Ah, come on. Uh, October 17, 2016. Level 7 will be a final battle between a giant pig. I have 147 bytes left in Bank 8, where all the sprite info is stored. But Banks 5, 6, and 7 are completely empty. Empty. Uh, June 10, 2017. Stage 7 uh, will take place in a big bowl of spaghetti. You can choose <laughs> Stage 7 at the title screen now, since I since I just started working on it. Stage 7 has the same layout as Stage 6. This will change. I'll also be adding music. I'd like to add the famous Italian piece of music that's used in cartoons and stuff to indicate it's Italy, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Does anyone know here the name of it? Uh, and then posted, it says today. 18 seconds. I don't know how many times I have to hit him. Just... Uh, until he's dead. Ah! I didn't jump on his head. That's what happened in the last hit. Yeah. His head is safe, but the rest of him is like, it's a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, worked it. Okay, so it says today. I don't know if that's true. I doubt it. It is a Bowser level. Worked on this some more. Added a final boss to fight for level 8. Although... If you defeat the, bo the boss pig, nothing happens because I need to put in an ending. Is that today's instructions? That's what it says, oh, okay. yeah. Also, I redid the scrolling, so I think it's way better to play now than it used to be. I tested this using my Harmony Kart, and all is well so far. That's what we're doing, Harmony Kart. Um, I think this level needs some sort of indicator that you're moving. 
It's like very weird. I guess the dragon does get closer, but it just doesn't feel like you're moving. You know? You're not moving, you're waiting for the dragon to get close, and you're standing there dodging his stuff until he stupidly gets within jumping on his head <laughs> that's, distance. That's what it feels like. And it's like, that's not right. That doesn't feel right. Oh, decision there. You jumped up and got nailed right in the crotch. How? Always important. Celery thing. crotch. That's right. in the middle of ducking and... Okay, shoot it! Shoot! I've got lots of time this time. Shoot. Okay. Get hurt. Shoot. Ah, I got hurt that time. Can't get too you low. Gotta, you, well, it's because you touch his uh, arm. You gotta hit his head and get away. That was very close. Yeah! <laughs> Level... F what is bouncing or... Oh, it's so slow and bouncy. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the underwater this... level, right? Oh. This... Oh, what is happening? I think I'm going to jump. Ah, uh, look out for the fish! Oh, you can swim! Never mind. Uh, oh, that is probably Doorbell. a package for me. <laughs> that would be very weird if it is a package for you. Oh, you... Oh, these are just barriers. Yeah, you never thought you'd ever heard the words celery crotch in your life. I wonder if Darcy's able to get my package. Oh, the swimming up is so slow. Oh, no, you hold it. There we go. Now we're learning. Now we're learning. I'm definitely not going to make it to the end because I've been screwing around thinking I'm popping. I'm actually swimming. In. If it is what I think it is, this will be fun for unboxing after this game. Is it a big box? It's a box. From Ontario? From Ontario. Oh, good. I was hoping it would come during the show. Because I wanted to unbox it during the show. So if you could put that. No. Don't throw it! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I should know better. But you know what? What I did with it is much less than what much happened. less than what has been happening all the way through. You know that firsthand. I know that. Uh, <laughs> for, I know that. At, is it UPS? That it's like the package being sent has to withstand a drop. Well, no, it's FedEx, I think. Uh -huh. uh, this and this could be decades out of date, but it had to be able to withstand a drop of two feet because every single package drops <laughs> two <laughs> feet every day. Uh, because they would come off the the uh, conveyor belt and it would fall to the next conveyor belt. No, it's just, it's oh, just two what? Feet. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think we're on level five now. I don't know if it's two feet, but it's it's something yes. like two feet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, your turn. Hold the button to swim up. Okay. We're gonna do some unboxing now or after the. We'll have to do it after this. After this. Because it's very, very exciting. It's not foot pedal. I don't think it's foot pedal. Uh oh. I suppose well, says, I don't. Uh, I got a free life, so losing one is. Oh, Kev just uh, sent me 100 bits? 100 things? What are those things? Cheers! 100 cheers! That's what it is. Thank you very much, Kev. 73. Oh, you're stuck. That's an extra life, which... Hey, I'm going to need it, because yeah. I'm going to totally die. <laughs> the thing is, they, oh, see, every time I'm going to die, right after getting an extra life, because that fish... <laughs> is right there. I remember, up. I remember that, that tricky, tricky fish. So, see, the, the graphics in this game are like... The simplest of the simple, like everything's blocked except for the, the fish. Um, but the gameplay is really good. Like it's not, it's not easy. It's not super hard, but it's challenging enough that you're like, yeah, I'm gonna die, and it's gonna take 
maybe 10, 10 tries, 20 tries to do a level. And I think that's like a nice sweet spot for difficulty. It's difficult to know where to uh, when you get stuck on things. Where to put yourself, because you can't sink fast enough to get out of the way of a... F oh no! I think going up is faster than going down. It is, but uh, I couldn't so get So I above. would stay down more than up. Yeah. And that's how it is on uh, Balloon Trip as well, when you play that. Going up is much faster. So I always stay... What happens if you sink below the... Uh, the probably down death. Down? Probably death. I haven't tried that yet. But uh, you can probably get down pretty fa far. I bet fish don't go down that far. Unless... Above the water. It's a good celery don't need to breathe. Well, that's a good challenge one. There you go. Ten seconds. You have tons of time to do it. Yes. Woo! Level I did a thing. six. What oh my. This, this is this like one? super jump. This uh, one has like some very big jumps. Whoa. Big jumps. Oh, oh. oh, oh I died. Very E fish ant. Oh, Kev. Kev. That's a terrible pun. <laughs> Glad you're able oh, to try Whoa, what was that? A horse. It was a horse? I it like barely horse. saw it. See, it's a horse in the desert. It's true. A wild horse. <laughs> what a is this about? This one says it takes place in a giant toilet. Oh, oh no. that's an ant. It was that's an ant. That's an ant. Yes. Okay. Oh! Whoa. And and the reason he put ants is because they were invading his bathroom, so he thought they might as well invade this one. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, Spinley1970 says it's not rage quitty looking. No, it's not. It's not like... Rage inducing. It's not like that kind of hard. It's just challenging. Like when you screw up, it's you know it's your fault. It's not that hard. I have finished levels. It is. <laughs> it is. It is objectively easy. <laughs> if Darcy can actually finish a level. You made it too easy. You got to step up the difficulty level. Make the enemies run faster. Make the jumps higher, you know, something to defeat the Darcy. Because that's not a good thing. Oh, we have 14 seconds left. No problem. Mr. Hanky level, that's right. Mr. Hanky level. <laughs> yes, it is. So this oh. is level 7. Uh, the final battle between a giant pig. Uh, Isn't that level, level 8 is the final battle? This is... Uh... Oh. oh, okay. No, this is both spaghetti. Spaghetti and is. meatballs are trying to get me. And, ah. I'm, and I'm on spaghetti noodles. Yes, and that's the sauce, and I guess that's the edge of the bowl at the top there. Yeah. The celery's gone. Celery be belongs. In pasta? Yeah, it's fine in pasta. Well, my parents would put it. celery in anything like that. Yeah. yeah it's not a usual thing. It's usual in my house. That makes it normal. <laughs> There's a lot more meatballs in this one than oh, there are yeah. than ants doggies or thing. ants. Or, actually, there were quite a lot of ants, too, to be honest. Yeah. They've ramped it up. That's not that many. Well, no, they, they, they start to come faster. Oh. <laughs> Some of these games give me gamers Tourette's as they ramp up so quickly in difficulty. Yeah, this one is this one's not bad. Yeah. And I mean the water level was a lot more challenging because of the different type of gameplay. That um the dragon one was a <laughs> The dragon one was a slight challenge, Why too. so many lives? Do you get extra lives each level? Yeah, there's always actually cool. one life to get. No, but I mean, like, yeah, okay. So I think you built up quite a bit last last time. No, because every time I got a free life, I died. <laughs> I think you start off with five, though. But I think each level, maybe you get lives added at the beginning of the level oh. or something. Because I was pretty sure, like, I've died twice here. Yeah. And I was pretty sure that last time I had five when I... Look, I'm at five now. Yeah, it's pretty liberal with the lives, and I think maybe too many. Possibly too I many disagree. lives. <laughs> I mean, we have been skipping levels. At the beginning, we haven't skipped a level in a long time, have we? We haven't died died yet. Well, you in died. A long time. Not to not to complete. Not to the title screen. I did once, I think. You must have, because I'm playing. And we <laughs> no, only I switch when you off. die. No, no, I had it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was going to open the package, but I think we'll wait, because we're almost done. Because it's just this level and one more. I so is this the one where we get a badge? Uh, no. <laughs> Damn, I'm no. a badge. There you go, five seconds. Woo! Yeah! 
And it's the final battle. You're dying. You're dying. You're actively dying right now, Darcy. You're dying. You're dying. The Scotty dogs are killing you. Actually, now we know they're pigs. Uh oh. How do you? How do you jump? Jump? I don't know. I don't know. You can duck. No, but Buttons I can't jump. jump are oh! I was hitting the wrong button. No! <laughs> oh, you're dying. What is happening? Um, I think you have to just do it like the the pig. No, that's hurting you. That's hurting you too. No, that hurt you. Jump on his head. Nope. That killed you. No, that hurt you. Okay, look at what does it say? Um, it doesn't. It doesn't say how to kill the giant pig. Let me look, go to the thread. It does say if you defeat the giant pig. Nothing happens. But nothing happens. Yes. I mean, it's the last level. He just hasn't programmed an ending, I guess, to the game. Maybe you have to jump past him? Oh, maybe you have to jump over him to get... I might be, I might be, you might be able to jump high enough. So you have to wait for a low pig, a low green pig, and jump over him and the green pig at once. No, because after a while, they stop coming. Oh, they do? Yeah. Oh, so you have to dodge. Oh, no. Okay, so okay, that's Okay, I see it. he's changing. Yeah. No, no, you have to wait for the pause. Yeah, yeah. And then hit him and then go back to... Oh, uh, to die. Let me see if I can reset. Oh, I can reset. Yeah. These pillows constantly fall down. Okay. The yeah, final the boss. Ears. Looks between yeah, the ears. I think, yeah. I think Stanley's correct. Yep. You have to be very specific. This jumping is very fast. This is a ducking. Yeah. Ducking. So how do you know it's the end? You just another one doesn't come out immediately, I guess. You have to hit him four times. And his ears four, okay. his ears are fine. Now they're too. fast. His ears are fine too. Fine to hit okay, it doesn't have to be between. Uh, you might take damage each time. I don't uh. know. But he did change. I don't know about the four. I don't know what the four means, because it didn't change, his color changed. Four is, usually that's the countdown. Yeah, So I know. if that goes down. No, it didn't go down. Whoa! 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 Oh, now it's third to three. That is a countdown timer. It's just really slow. Whoa! Get him! Oh! Yay! Yeah, no, keep going, keep going! Ah. No. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Nothing happens. I just... We have I, achieved nothing happens! <laughs> I take over the pig realm. That's right. <laughs> Is my realm to That's jump It's nothing around. but you and your health bar. Woo! Get that health bar. Woo! 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 High five, health bar! <laughs> <laughs> Celebration jumping! <laughs> so, right. good game. Yeah, That's fun. A, That's actually a lot of fun. Um, looks really simple. Uh, like, simplistic. But uh, they did a good job. Did a good job. I mean, they could put some more... I mean, they kept it chunky on purpose. Like, look at the color bands. It's got a nice aesthetic. Uh, give it a give it a good score. Not going to say the score, but it's a good score. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't score games. We don't score games. Um, but yeah, I would definitely uh, check it out. It's worth, worth playing. I think it does need to be a little harder, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not done. Yeah. So we're going to open the package. I think package. The, the hardness... Uh, you'd think that tweaking of making it hard enough comes after you've made the... I guess you could do each level by level, like finish yeah. a level, make it hard. Yeah. But there's nothing wrong with doing all the levels and then... Uh... Yeah. Score could have been more chunkier. <laughs> it could have been, like, bigger and chunkier. But those are... That's good font. That's a good font. Okay. So, if I... Th if this is what I think it is, this is my largest one-time purchase of video games ever in terms of money. Um, I bought this a couple days ago uh -huh. off of Facebook. Uh -huh. Facebook? Um, which you is also like Facebook? Yeah. <laughs> which How? is also the first time I've ever bought something. How do you buy something on, on Facebook? Facebook has a marketplace kind of thing. What? Yeah. But it was offered, it wasn't, maybe it wasn't through the marketplace. It was through um, a Facebook uh, group that I'm on, um, which are relevant to my interests. <laughs> um um, this is not Atari, but it is video game related. It's a Fortnite hat, isn't it? It's it's Fortnite Fortnite apparel. It's a Fortnite hat, Fortnite wristband, a Fortnite hoodie, um, Fortnite mug as well. Oh. Do you um, have a mouse pad? Oh, the mouse pad too. I don't use mouse pads, so 
I didn't, I didn't get the Fortnite. You got it pass. just for the just for the wall. Maybe. Oh, you didn't get it. I Fortnite think. temporary tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Fortnite uh, underoos. Yeah, yeah, Fortnite underoos. Get um, ready to dance. Get ready to dance. In your Fortnite pajamas. Uh, so hopefully this was packed really well because it had to withstand two foot drops I, by, by I Darcy. I dropped it on the floor. Two foot. I did not drop it. On, I did not drop it two feet. And hopefully Maybe it's not full of bricks either because it was through Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy seemed very, um, very forthcoming. And very nice, and very yeah, legitimate. Definitely, this box was thrown onto a truck. <laughs> and I got these because they were. I usually like buy stuff because it's in very good condition. Um, because you can get it for cheaper, but less good looking. Mm -hmm. um, so I usually hold out, and it's actually this is the best looking copies of these that I've seen in a long time. Ugh, heavy. Fortnite marshmallow cereal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Fortnite marshmallow cereal, and you get a prize in it as well. Okay. So these are Vectrex games. Oh. And by buying these Vectrex games, this is not the front, by buying these Vectrex games, it completes my collection of Vectrex. Oh. I now, if they're all here, <laughs> I didn't just put bricks inside of these. I uh, have a complete North American Vectrex collection of every game, plus the light pen, plus the 3D imager glasses, and I have two Vectrexes as well, all in box. Do you need two for 3D? Yes. Yeah. You have to <laughs> one, line them up. Just one for right. each eye? I don't have the box for the Vectrex uh, imager, the 3D imager. Uh, you, you can stream it by pointing a camera at it. <laughs> But there's no video output because it's... Um, it's a TV, yeah, 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 It's not a real TV. It's like... Oh. It draws with lines. And you can't, you can't... Short answer, yes, we can. Yes. Long answer, no. But yes. Yes. Um, you can emulate it, but that's not the Vectrex. Anyway, let's get on to it. Um, two consoles and a bungee cord for 3D. There are games that use two Vectrex consoles, but tied together, talking through the port. Um, very, very cool. So it's a multiplayer. Vectrex oh, game. that's cool. Yeah. But it comes on a cart called Vec Fever, which sold out immediately. And, the and you do have it. now? No. But I... you said you have the complete... Oh, where's that from? South America? <laughs> no. <laughs> that is a homebrew. These oh, are the original things. Okay. So, this includes Melody Master, which is a pen, light pen game where you can draw uh, music oh. on it. <clears throat> to be printed out later? Yeah, uh, no, there's no printer for Vectrex. Um, anim action, where you can do animation, with also with the light pen. As can you well. save it? Uh, no, you cannot save it. There's no. This saving. is good for training. <laughs> yes, because you have to do it over and over again. Yeah. And the quality of the boxes is really, really good. Like, not perfect, but like this is really good quality. And and it's good he had to put them in these um, these boxes as well. And those. Those are, like, these are the most expensive ga uh, games for the Vectrex is why they were last. Um, and they're very seldomly offered in this condition as well. Uh, uh, Polar Rescue, and these are absolutely complete. They have the overlays, they have the cartridge, they have the instructions. Um, Polar Rescue, which is a sub-game. The light pen in the box. Uh, fold out. Oh, so did you not have a light pen before? I had just the light pen. Ah. So now I have two light pens gotcha. and a box. And you can use the other one so you don't have to take this one out. I can use two at once oh, on two fancy. Vectrexes. <laughs> and I'll put that over there. And you can see if the left hand knows what the right hand is doing. Yes. <laughs> Something. Some, some and pole there. position. Oh. Which is a very big title that yeah. they got. Um, I can imagine it would be uh, Vectrex would be a good version of that. Yeah, because it's all vector based, and the cars get bigger as they come closer, and perfectly bigger because they just yeah. draw them bigger. Yeah. Um, yeah. So these are complete my Vectrex collection. Nice. And now I can put them up on the shelf and uh, display them nicely. I also have um, the European versions of some of these games because. 
soccer was released in North America, but it's called football over there, right? And there's a Web Wars, and it's called Web Warp here. I guess you didn't have issues like PAL and MTSC with Vectrex because no. they had their own screen. No, yeah, it's totally differently drawn. Yeah. Um, there, there's probably timing differences a little bit. I'm not sure it would be drawn faster oh, or slower. Yeah, because of the yeah yeah the yeah. speed. Yeah, but probably not. No, it probably take take took into account. Uh, Melody Master Polar Rescue is my favorite. Three most expensive titles. Yes, they these are not cheap. <laughs> And like I said, this is the most money I have ever spent in one purchase of buying games. Um, so, but I I did it because they were a de good a decent deal. But don't think you can come here. We've been hiding the <laughs> address. But even if <laughs> even if you saw it somehow because of my lax security, like oh, these will be you... going into an offsite safe. That's right, separate from. All, the I house. mean, in fact, I pointed over there, but really, the cats are already <laughs> transporting them to the offsite on their back. Location. That's right. Yes, giving the secret meow to open the door. Yeah, yeah. using cat only uh, uh, transportation system, yeah. which you would never fit into. Uh, they're the only ones allowed in there, actually. Um, they are the only ones who have the secret meow code to get in through the door allowed sure but if someone's coming to steal your stuff they're not so worried about like the rules <laughs> no oh uh i suppose as a german vectrex no foreign carts yeah um and i mean i would love to have the japanese vectrex because just it looks really really cool oh and, how's and it the look games different? look uh, just different uh i mean it's all in japanese and they have like really cool font hmm. and the covers of the games are different hmm. and uh yeah Except those are astronomically expensive, <laughs> like unbelievably expensive, because it didn't do very well there, so there weren't uh, any yeah, made. Yeah. There are two more North American cartridges for this, um, but they're also crazy prices, like two thousand. So you don't twenty five hundred dollars. All of them. And one's then. ten thousand. No, they are not. They were never retail. So uh, retail. One is called Mister Boston, which was a giveaway uh. by an alcohol company. <laughs> It was like for rum or something. What? And it's just a, a graphic change. It's like a hack of a game. Oh. And the other one is Mindstorm 2. Mindstorm is built into the Vectrex. Ah. But there's a bug on level 13 that you can't get past. Ah. And you can't because it's built in. Yeah. So like the built-in game, you can't play past the <laughs> same Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> What's the bug? Uh... I can't. I don't know. I'm not oh, that good right. at it. <laughs> it's, it's not an easy game. Yeah. Um, so not not many people got to that. So not saw many it. Yeah, yeah. And went, hey, I want a replacement cartridge. Yeah. And they shipped out Mindstorm Two, the replacement uh, cartridge. Yeah, right, right. So if you have Mindstorm on cart, it's actually Mindstorm Two. Right, right. And it's about two thousand dollars for that one. I think the Mister Boston is around ten thousand, <laughs> and I will never get either of them. Maybe Mindstorm 2, if I win the lottery, of course. Uh, eBay would have cost you $800. That's a very good estimate. <laughs> very, very good estimate. Um, so we're going to move on to The Goons. And this is another uh, joystick-based game. So hold down the second button, please. Yeah. And we're loading up The Goons. Oh, for those light pen games. Oh. Well, then I got a very good deal. Um, go to the last one, the newest date. This is uh, oh, that's, that's two days old. Very exciting. It is. Playing some brand new builds of games. The Goons. What's that? Why does that happen? Because uh, that's what happens. Okay. That was the greatest answer ever. <laughs> Uh, do, 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 do. one second, let me get up the instructions for this. And there's no sounds for this, I don't think, because it's just, it's brand new game. Brand new game. But I was at a point... Oh, I see. It's it Frogger. At, uh, kind of, yeah, kind of Frogger, but there's no place to go. You want to get those gold things. Oh. Yeah, those piles of gold. There you go, and avoid everything else. The Goons by Ed Riley, a.k.a. Wink Dot. This is first posted on January 27th, 2019. This build is from two days ago, uh, February 6, 2019. Uh, other games by Wink Dot are Alien Pinball, Cows, Doom Patrol, Orb, Shark, Jaws Plus, and The Deep. 
Uh, we played Alien Pinball. Oh no, I died! Uh, we played Orb. We've played Char Jaws Plus. I don't think we've played Cows, The Deep, or Doom Patrol. Doom Patrol, maybe, but I don't think so. Uh, so he posted uh, January 27th. You are a goon on Goon Island, and your tribe needs gold. Use joystick to move up, down, left, right. Collect gold for points. Ah, you started the game! And now no, I'm... I didn't. I didn't. I handed you the joystick. <laughs> I'm just going to kill and myself. You. There we go. Arena has joined <laughs> us. Hey, Arena Foot. Uh, okay, <laughs> you are a goon on Goon Island, and your tribe needs gold. Use joystick to move up and down, left and right. I don't think tribes need gold. They do want they it, They like though. gold. I mean, unless they're making computer parts. They, ins <laughs> they insist on gold. Uh, what is gold? They're what? making pirate treasure. What is What was gold used for, like, a long time ago, other than, you know, status symbols? Status. It's all status. There's no yeah, practical application for gold whatsoever. Ah! Whoa. That was awesome. That was very tricky. Uh, I mean, it lasts forever, but it's too soft to be used for um, for, for weapons, tools for tools. Yeah, it just kind of mushes. It was used as a trading. It was used for money. Right, but yeah, like, because that's was... wealth. So yeah. Oh, there's sound. Oh, sorry. I said uh, there's okay. no sound. <laughs> use the joystick to move up and down and left and right. Collect gold for points. Also, the number of gold chests you collect will make you, will take you to the next level. Okay. Avoid everything else as they will cause your death. You have three <laughs> lives. There are eight levels. Feedback is welcome. I think I'm on level three. There is a slight jump between levels, so you may want to look into that, Wink Dot. Um, <laughs> so it's not doing a, a perfect line count of 262. Um, everything else seems pretty good. The sound is good. Um, I know there's a lot of complaints with jumping to, uh, like that, moving two point, two move, um, two spots at a time, and there's still a little bit too much of that, and I believe it's something called debouncing your joystick, or just adding a, like that, or adding a delay in movement. Because uh, you, at, at like any you, cost, you want to avoid James going... He does the deep in breath and oh, turn, yeah. like the turn. Sorry. He goes. This is I'm exaggerating, but there's a slight turn of the head. Just... All right. <laughs> <laughs> Arena Foot's still waiting to hear back from all these. Oh, he's. Yeah, I'm, about I want to start fresh. So very nice looking score, um, very colorful, and the sprites are really good in this game. So you can see the double movement. I think it's oh, really yeah. sensitive. Really I just sensitive. assumed it was me because no, it is no. a me thing. It's been a lot of discussion about it. So he's still working on that. So I would say keep working on it. Um, it's too it's too fast. Like it's nice to be able to move down really quickly, but it moves too fast. Because you can press up and go right to the top really, really, really quick. Um, for some games that's good, but for this one, you might want to slow it down just a little bit. It's almost under control where if you're really sensitive with it, you can you can keep it under control, but I'm still having trouble when it moves twice. See? There. Gotcha. Oh, that was actually me. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Arena Foot says, I beta tested this game around and scored 70 to 80,000 points in an early build, so he made it more difficult. Yeah, it does. It's just ramping up pretty good when it's the level I got. But I think I was having most of my troubles from double movement. Oh, level three! It doesn't say what level you're on, though, does it? You could, you, you could put it up in the top there, the top left corner. Oh, no, I died! Uh, Once. That's level three on my first life. Because it just looks like it's... Um, oh, no, I uh, died! See, it got me that time. Yeah. Looks like it's just background. And that time. Oh, and that time. I did really well in the first life, though. <laughs> yeah, so every death you had was from... Oh, it automatically starts. Why is it automatically starting? That's not good. Nobody knows. So that's maybe a bug? I'm gonna watch for that next time. Oh, that was my fault. It's getting too greedy. See, because it's nice to go fast, but see that... Ah, not good. It is moving too many times. That was accidental, but good. <laughs> 
That was twice. See, I don't have as much difficulty with it, which is weird. <laughs> uh, ah! I seem to be able to stick most of the time to one step at a time. Yeah. I'm having a little bit more difficulty. Very nice graphics. It's very weird, like the game. Like, why are trees moving? <laughs> why is everything moving? And then, what? Games don't have to be sensical. There's lots of 2600 games that are like, what? In real life, that's crazy. It's nothing's moving. It's just that you are moving really fast. And when you sprint forward, that's just a sprint. For the whole time you're running. Yeah, I gotta keep going. I gotta get Always that goal. I gotta running. get the goal. Woo! But everything's moving at different speeds on, on these planes of existence. <laughs> Are you warping through different running planes that's of existence? A, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> and then there's these buildings that don't move. Uh, they're really far away. Oh, uh, okay. But yet you can hit them and die. <laughs> 30,000. Oh, okay. If you hit the buildings, you die? See, it resets. I didn't touch anything. That's weird because... It doesn't reset automatically or very quickly when you, when you die. die. One time, yeah. yeah. Huh. But when it's game over, it automatically resets. So that's a bug. So there's something to look at. Wig dot. Oh, Deanoids is here. The little, little man looks like he's dancing. Does he dance even when you're not moving? Yeah, he's always like... Oh. And, he, and he squishes himself over and over again on the death animation. The animations are cool. Even the trees animate. It's spinning. So it's not... The, the tree is moving. It's like it's on a convey... It's like everything's on a conveyor belt. Doesn't have to make sense. Uh, RC70 says, He's dancing to take on me. <laughs> Uh-oh, died. Oh, died -ed. But fun little game. Doesn't have to make sense. And it is difficult. What just happened there? What did you die of? I don't know. It reset automatically. Oh, and there's a gold in the top there. There's a gold hovering in the, in the air. Where? It was. Like it went along the top above the first, oh. above the most uh, tallest thing. Ah! Whoa. The most tallest. The most tallest. Hard to speak the words when the playing. Words what what happened? Something there? happened when you did something to it because it was working perfectly, <laughs> and then you touched it and cursed the joystick. Now it's like glitchies, <laughs> glitching, glitching all out. So if you hit those buildings, you die. Yeah, I never had that problem because I didn't move back and forth very much at all. No, you don't really need to move forward too much if you don't want to. Not in the first two levels, anyways. In fact. I found it much easier to stay at the back and just the thing move up is, and down. thing is, if you get the goal, see that? I died on the on the cloud, but I went to the bottom. Mm. Interesting. Well, see, that was just your body. Your see, if you get the body. gold, it resets the gold immediately. Ah! Oh, it's going to reset. One more game for you, and then we will move on. Stay to the far left. There's no need to move to the right. Technically, but if you run and get the gold, you'll fit, you'll get the game going faster. I guess. <laughs> I'm out of water. I need water. <clears throat> but this is just this is a work in progress. This is like pretty brand new. When, how, how old is oh, this Oh, and one? the gold seems to show up. Only after you take the previous gold. Yes, and that's why I was moving forward to get the gold because it was like it appears faster. Not that that's an advantage. It makes it makes the levels go by quicker, I guess. Um, so this, yeah, this is brand new. This is only like uh, two weeks old, so it's it's still early. But I thought it was at a point where it's fully playable. Like there's nothing glitching out or weird. Like the whole gameplay is in here. Version four, yeah, it's on version four. So I've been I've been monitoring it and going yeah okay it's it's at a good point, and plus we've been doing the uh, nomination shows for a month, so oh look uh, you I hit got the tree and you got transported to the bottom. 
Yeah, and I... You're having a good I, game. I did get screwed there. I did get double moved. Mmm. Okay. The graphics are good. Like, for the buildings, too, like, the graphics are really good, too. Like, castles. Oh, yeah. double, double moved. moved. Yeah. Oop. Top, bottom. <gasps> you know what? That's how this level is. Cheaty. Oh no, you've messed it up. What? The pattern. Because you had, you were getting the gold. Oh, is it? That's what this level is. It's just tree, cloud, and gold. Yeah. But you were getting the gold at the top and the bottom each time. Uh huh. And you were timing it perfectly. Because if you kept the tree and the cloud in the oh, I second see. Yeah. and third spot, it was just. Going gold top, gold bottom. Gold top, gold bottom. Oh, you're getting the top score now. Oh, no. I mean, you don't have to get the gold, and that's the thing. Ah, now you're doing it again. Nice. Oh, no, it's all screwed up. <laughs> ah, 33, 500. What do the castles do? They kill you. They kill you. They just keep you from Death. being able to move back and forth. Yes. Yeah, yeah they kind of restrict the play area. I mean, they do kill you, too. Um, so we're going to go on to Tron um, by Orange808, and we did play this during the nominations because it is nominated, but now, but I didn't do any in-depth like reading and research because we're just whipping through the nominations, but um, there is a good layout to play this game. <gasps> oh no, I have to get a joystick. I forgot that I had to not use this joystick and use a joystick with a trigger. And I need my... Box. I wonder if it's, it's readily accessible. No. It has to be a joystick with a trigger button that you can use with a finger and not a hand. But don't you have... Oh, I see. No, because you have to be... But that one's a finger. No, you have to be able to move. Like, do it all with one hand. Because you're using your second hand. Oh. Like, no, that would... There is a joystick like that? Oh, yeah. with the... With oh, I the... see. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what does your other hand do? You have to hold it above your ball. head. Yeah, oh, it's, it's I see. Right in the way. Uh, I do have a joystick like that. I hope it's readily accessible. It doesn't appear to be. <clears throat> it's in my. Oh. Bin of Commodore the number of castles represents the level you're on, so you do oh. know. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's handy. Okay, okay. Good call, Arena. Flex. All is forgiven. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! I can't even see where which bin it's in. Oh. So many plastic bins. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna hand you plastic bins. If you can stand up and put them on the couch, because that's the only place we'll have room for it. Everybody can see how many plastic bins of joystick controllers I have. Oh, you will see some. This one has thumb. Uh, those won't work. Okay. Those look like they would work, but they are not the right type of. Uh, yeah. This one has mercury in it. Use that. <laughs> yeah, let's use that one. <laughs> that actually might work. Well, it will work. It will work. We'll and we get it. to show off this cool joystick that people may not have seen. No, no, no. no. We're good. We're good. That's a pass back. Put that over on the couch. That was, that was on like a Facebook group the other day, and I said, I have one of those. <laughs> that back too. This one is good for... Um, Flight sims? I was going to say for uh, a bomb where you have to hold the button. <laughs> it is. It's very appropriate. <laughs> but then I was reluctant to say the word bomb because now I'm on a list. No, you're on a list. Is the mic turned yes. down? No, the mic's not turned down. It's just kind of directional, and yeah, we were we, nowhere near the we're mic. Nowhere near. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> um, so we're going to switch over to the next game, but it requires very specific controllers to play one player. Because last time we played it two player. And I am getting some DB9 extenders because... Ah, because of the problem that we we're about to have here. <laughs> yes. The problem we're about to have. Hold on. Well, I'll put this as far forward as I can. Yeah. And It'll work. We'll just have to sit up on the front of the couch. and. So this requires like a flight joystick and a roller ball. 
like seriously to play it one player this is how it works um because you need to have a fully control with one, one hand and be able to control with the other one le stick it is le stick actually that's what i'm going to be doing yeah grooving yeah. <laughs> grooving while you play so we will probably use the chair as to put these on because or put this one on anyway oh still not in frame awesome oh okay so it doesn't look like there's anything going on so let's turn this on and get to tron we'll oh play i didn't press the button oh we don't need no to? we don't need to oh <laughs> too bad they can't see the controls <laughs> there you go oh i messed it up everybody i'll show you what ha is happening here with darcy trying to select with this joystick <laughs> now this joystick um is controlled with mercury this is actually this joystick is illegal to ship in the mail because it has mercury in it oh you're in the sub folder just don't press the top one and you'll be pretty good uh uh, oh, oh, you were on it. This kind of reminds me of Tron. <laughs> uh, of this oh. one part in Tron. In the movie? There, there you go. <gasps> You're almost there. Okay, Tron subfolder. Filled with, well, it's not filled with mercury, <laughs> but it has mercury in it. There you go. This one is more 50, to go. 50. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> did I win? You did. You I played play Tron? Oh. So, I don't know how to play Tron, so uh, you can all begin shaming me now. <laughs> okay, so the uh, trackball is your turret. Oh. And you move with a joystick and fire with the oh, button. Don't go into there. Oh, you can. It's a teleporter. Oh, I see. You have to shoot oh. him three times? But he only has to shoot me once. <laughs> he has a more powerful cannon. Yeah. But you have a more powerful... He has more powerful... Oh, yeah, he, he has all the advantages, actually. <laughs> you have a weaker weapon and a weaker shield. He only has to hit you once, and you have to hit him three times. So you're at a distinct disadvantage. Ah! No, I'm not going to use the console switches to navigate the Harmony menu. I wanted to put Darcy through, <laughs> through the trials of a murder. That was an option? Yes, it was. It was an option. Um, so this was first posted October 15th, 2018. Oh! What? Did I get him? Yep. But I only shot him once. Okay. You gotta shoot a path through. Shoot. Don't go into it. <laughs> you gotta get used to the control. Go right for it! <laughs> and you have to start all over again. Oh. You only get one life. Wow. Once. Uh. How are the controls for this? Uh, there. No! Uh, but I got him. You did. You were a suicide mission. This build is from October 30th, 2018. Uh, it's by Orange808, and I can't find any other record of him making any other game, which is astounding that this would be his first game. Psst. Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! You have to make a path. You have to get a little bit closer. There you go. And then you have to get through your path through your path to the top. So you have to shoot quite a lot. No! And not on the left hand side, shoot on the right. Okay, he's right. Okay. It's it's pretty awesome. Like this is so far this is not that I played it, that which is kind of my point before, but not knowing how to play. Oh okay, yeah, I gotta get used to this. Okay. It's kinda interesting for the Shoot! Okay. I have to figure out what the hell's going on with these controls. <laughs> No, you need to know how to do it immediately, instinctively, <laughs> without any practice. So it's left and right. Okay, yeah. Left and right with the trackball. And then... Yeah, it's like you think the trackball is going to be more tracky, <laughs> but it's it's not as tracky as you think it might be. <laughs> this is very strange. Ah, go all the way down. Is that a dead end? What is happening? Well, you were holding the joystick like this. That might have been the problem. Could have been. Oh, it's upside down now. How do I do it? <laughs> oh, oh, he shot you on. through the teleporter. That seems unfair. It does seem unfair. 
This is not easy. Oh, you could shoot him through the teleporter. It is fair. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I thought you couldn't. Your I, bullets don't. I thought I'd tried and failed, but... Your bullets don't uh, go Ooh. into oblivion. Okay, um... No! Something is... Some, I think... Yeah, because I'm holding it like this or something. Yeah, you need to You need to hold... You need your... To find your neutral to be the, the uh, up and down. Being terrible. I need a proper joystick. <laughs> <laughs> I just like it when you do worse than I did. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is definitely happening right now. Uh oh. Spin, spin! <laughs> this is too many things at once. <laughs> <laughs> I want to play this two player. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it. I have faith in you. Spin that. Uh. Spin that wheel. <laughs> Stop driving and spin the wheel. <laughs> okay. Spin the wheel. I've got to get out of that way. Get out of that. Ah! Spin the wheel. God. Spin the wheel. The only way you're going to figure out wh what it's doing is by spinning it lots. <laughs> that is true. Uh oh. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. No, I can't play this. I can't play this. Why? I can't play it like this. Okay. With this joystick, at least. I need a proper joystick. Uh, or we can play two player. Can we play two player? Sure. Oh, you are you okay with that joystick? Sure. We can, we can use a proper joystick. Let's try it. Joystick is right-handed on the arcade version. That's not going to help me. <laughs> That's not going to make it any better. Okay. I will aim directly at Mr. Tank at all times. Oh, I have the fire button? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> You're saying I should have the fire button because I'm controlling the turret? Uh -huh. That actually is true, yeah, but... <laughs> Maybe it does work. I don't know, I haven't tried it. No, it doesn't work. You, you oh, it does. Screw. Sorry. Oh. Does it work? What? Does what work? Um, controls are, like, backwards to what I'm thinking with the rollerball. Yeah, I felt that. You have to, you have to oh, get closer. I know, I was going to give you crap because <laughs> I was like, James, why aren't you closer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're almost got... You gotta make a path. Oh! And start all over again. <laughs> That's how it is. You only get one life. This There's only one life. The Tron didn't get to, like, die and come back and play again. It was all about killing programs. Oh, I was gonna show what the oh. arcade looked like. The arcade version of this. I will set that up. Oh, maybe I should help you play. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you what the arcade version of this. We, the last time we played this, we're going to play proper joystick. Because this is too hard. And also, I'm going to control the uh, turret. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> is that a complaint of my turret ability? No, it's it be. because a uh, complaint <laughs> about my joystick ability. Oh, okay. <laughs> Obviously, you're better with the... Because last time we played this, we got to level four. Oh. Yeah. Um, Who was the other half of the Wii okay. at that time? Um, it was Erlen, I think. Uh, I almost got him just by not even you on the controls. I helped. I And I helped. Oh, he's on the run. No, he's not. Oh, he's the aggressor. Start pointing it towards him, please. Uh, part of the problem <laughs> is that it turns opposite. Ah, uh, yes. That would have solved it. And is it's better? it's emulating a mouse. A joystick. A joystick. Yes, it is. Yes, it's not yeah, actually it's not a rollerball. Roller roller no. Because you have to stop and then start again before it goes. Uh, it actually would be easier with a joystick. Please point up. Thank you. And now communicate with the user. <laughs> yes. Okay. Shoot up, please. Up, 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 up. Oh my oh, god. The guy's below you, too. Yes. I went down too far. But we will You're defeat right. This, this was your fault. <laughs> that one was. That one was my fault. Oh, got him on the run. Got him on the run. No, he's got me on the run. You got These him. These levels are not hard once you kind of get used to it. It's much better with the joystick because you can't accidentally... 
No, just point up. Just point up. Trying to get a little bit on an angle. There you go. Did you want to shoot? Oh, yeah. Into the future, right? Yes, you do. Into the future. Shoot into the future. <laughs> okay, this level's not super hard. You just have to avoid that thing that's coming for me. And shoot. Help, help, point at spiders, please. I was pointing at spiders <laughs> the whole time. You were shooting at the wrong time. <laughs> we must defeat this game. We have to. What happens if we don't? I don't know. But I want to... We get there. Get just, ah, yes. Angle again. Future, please. There, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Get it. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> that was close. Maybe not. So much more. Up, 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 up. Spiders, please. Ah! Oh, you hit the wall. That I wasn't did. my fault. No. I didn't wasn't. even know you couldn't hit the wall. You try to get through that hole. Uh, you just, yeah, you're trying to make it up to the top there. All right. Death to tanks. What's funny is it, the turret flips mirror. Just a sec, you're It's not as easy to control it as you think. <laughs> there we go, that's the one we want. Oh, oh god. god! Why did you touch that block? Now we have to kill the tank again. Oh, the cat is stinky. <laughs> Cats are filthy stinky. This is actually a very, very faithful reproduction of the uh, arcade game. Um, yeah, that's that seems. Uh, there we go. But he did get rid of the Tron light cycles um, level, and he replaced it with um, the sequel of the video game. How come? Uh, he, he couldn't seem to get Tron Light Cycles working oh, to okay. his uh, satisfaction, which would seem to be... Please point up. Oh my god. Oh! Why do you like that wall so much? Do you just like... <laughs> uh, just the just magnetic attraction to this, the wall. That's okay. If you're allowed to die on level one. Yes, you are. Because you get right back into it really quick. Oh, almost. Oh. Come over here. Come on over here. Come on. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Nice. Oh! Hi! Did you make a terrible stink in the bathroom? Yes, I did! And now it's all through the house. Yeah, you did. Oh, no, I didn't wait long enough. So impatient. The light You're cycle, like a cat. The light You're cycles like a cat. will be a very fast version of Atari Surround. Sad that it is missing. You won't be sad once you see the um, the discs level. <coughs> I mean, it would have been better if you put all the levels in here, but uh, he did not. And he gave up. For some reason, he just like went, nah, I'm done. It's over. <laughs> And no explanation of why he stopped making the program. And he seems very, very bitter <laughs> about the whole thing. There we go. I waited. It might have been because he couldn't put this out on cartridge. It's that block that's coming after me that freaks me out. Shoot up, please. Just shoot up, 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 up. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. We need voice control. Up! 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 Just point up on the spiders. Just completely up the whole time. Sure. <laughs> I was thinking about spiders still. And how I needed to shoot up. True. It doesn't work on this level, though. Uh, there we go. Uh, see, the turret flips. It flip. It flips every time. Was close so cut your by a pixel. It. It's it's like your hand sticking up. Oh, completely straight up, please. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, what go over that, here, dog. What does that thing do? It annoys me. No. What did what what killed me? What killed me there? Nothing. Spider killed you. Something killed you. The code killed you. That's what killed you. Ah, my fault. Because I got hit, and that's my job is to avoid that guy's bullets. And one more. There we go. Awesome. The next level I find pretty pretty easy to die on. <laughs> Nope, everything is on a real Atari 2600. RGB modded Atari 2600. As you can see in the webcam, that it is pointed at using a cartridge, Harmony Encore cartridge. Ah, uh, no! Come on. And cats that are refused to obey. Obey. <laughs> Yeah. I was going to suggest voice attack if you wanted those voice commands. <laughs> well, that's a literal thing on a PC? That's funny. Oh. Fire, 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 fire. <laughs> I've seen that <laughs> on something. I can't remember what. Oh, it was on like a Nintendo, um, a Nintendo add-on that you could use voice commands. I can't remember what the add-on was called, but you could go fire, 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 and you just had to keep saying fire, fire, fire. Oh, Dot, go over there, please. Okay. I was afraid that spider would kill me in there. Me okay. too. Okay. Shoot at him. Point at him, please. There we go. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> How many levels are there? That's it. Four. So everybody saw the, the uh, discs, the deadly discs. Um, we'll make it there one more. We'll do it again. We'll do it. But if we die again on it, that's the end. But we have to make it to the discs. Woo! Communication! Woot woot! That was your little you. blink. I thought that was your little pixel friend. Helper? No, he's no he's no friend. He is no friend to me. Friend of yours. No friend of mine. Come on, tank. No, I have to be there before the tank gets there. And I'm dead. Oof. It's rapid fire because he was close. I could shoot again and again really quick. That is what saved me. I think it no, was the rapid an turret angle. rotation. Oh, there we go. It was too far over? It was perfect. It was, <laughs> at, the, it was at the same spot I've always put it. Okay. Oh, I don't got know. it. You don't know. <laughs> Firewalls. And you're uh, like, oh, does, it, does it hurt if I touch it? <laughs> <laughs> that last level is basically berserk, I think. <laughs> Which level? The tank level? Tank level is kind of berserk. Or the spider level. Uh, spider level is more like berserk, yes. I don't know what berserk is. Uh, is it like that spider level? It's like exactly like that spider level. <laughs> it's you kind of in a maze. There's bad guys. You shoot them. Except they shoot you. So it's not really like berserk. Um, but yeah, you can't touch the walls. Spider one, yeah. It is fairly like Berserk. Up, up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You uh, know, no. you know that that is not as easy as... Don't touch the wall. It moves so quick. It moves so quick. I know, I'm just fucking you. Yeah. Uh, we'll give this a couple more goes. <laughs> and uh, if we die again on the spider one...
Through the hoopy thing. Okay, and now I have to avoid his shots. So aim, just aim at him. He only has one. Oh, that's handy. I have two. Oh, he's hiding in the corner there. It's pretty good AI, actually. I have to go catch mine though. <laughs> I don't get them back unless they oh, expire. I see. <gasps> Got him again. But he only has to hit you once. Why does the computer always have so much more armor than you? Because <laughs> you're just a lowly program. And you're trying to make your way in this digital world. And you're starting from scratch. And these guys are experts. Except they're not, because they haven't hit me once. Well, that's good. Cause... Yeah, because I'd be dead. Yeah, you have to catch yours. <laughs> oh, you don't, I guess. Uh, they expire. But yeah, you do have to catch them if you don't want to sit around waiting for them to bounce everywhere. Oh, I think I have to like... Oh, that accidentally got him. Cat, I can't prevent can you from... Can you catch them? I don't think you can catch them. Maybe not. I've seen you intersect them many times, and never oh. once have I seen them be caught. Whoa, right. that one came out of nowhere, seemingly. Oh! oh! Okay. It came out of him. Okay, we did try. Oh, we tried to defeat it. So and it's much very difficult. Abuse. So much abuse. Um, so let's go on to Astronomer and try and get our... Our patch? Yeah, let's get the patch. It'll be easy. 20 points. Easy. Five minutes. I got that in like one pile of gold. And, uh... Actually, we're still good with the joysticks. All right. Oh, no, we're going to use, uh, we're going to try and use the paddles. Right. It, it can use joysticks or paddles, but I think, I've never used paddles, but I think it might be easier with paddles. Well, you know what? If you've never used paddles before, I think we should go with paddles. Yes. On the time when we're going to try and get the best score ever, which is apparently <laughs> very difficult. Uh, I think paddles. Well, I, I, it's what I always say. Always go with the least familiar controller. <laughs> like a Mercury switched uh, joystick. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Turn it on, navigate, and because paddles don't seem to cooperate very well with the system. There we go. Oh, no, I picked the wrong one. The uh, character set is really good in this. Uh, it is. Like it, it's so good that I forget that it's that it's on the Atari. I keep thinking, <laughs> oh, it's like an external non-Atari thing that's doing it, but that is not true. No, it's a real Atari. It's really, really, really good. Yeah. People can't see it, but so I switched away. Oh. To full screen. Ah. So they can see your pretty face in HD. <sighs> Warts and all. There we go, astronomer. Um, I'll let you play first. Oh, do I use both controllers? No, nope, just time? one. Just one. Not that one though. Uh, we might Oop. chuck throw. Okay, can you twist it and turn it? No. Can this one twist and turn? I think I have to switch. Oh, is it working? You hold the button and the thing turns. Uh, that's not right. I think it's a. Uh, try it now. No. Try now. No. Right now. No. Oops, that's pause. Try oh, now. there we go. Okay, we're good. Oh, but when I press the button, it did that. Okay. Are we good mm -hmm. now? Can you press the button? Okay, we're good. We're good. It's in the instructions, but um, can you click on remind me later? On there? I think I'm doing exactly what you're not supposed to do. <laughs> Probably. So can I you click remind happening. me later on there on the on the laptop, please, Darcy? And not restart now? There we go. <laughs> what am I trying to do? Okay. You're trying to get that star in your sights and press the button while it's in your sights and not the cloud while it's in your sights. Just hold down the button. There you go. 
Okay, so this is Astronomer by Alex Pietro, a.k.a. Cool Crab. Uh, uh, first posted uh, September 24th, 2017. This build is from October 18th, 2018. Uh, other games by Cool Crab is Monkey King, which we have played extensively. We did a lot of um, testing for him. So what you're doing is taking, taking a picture of the star, and you don't want clouds to get in the way of your picture. There you go. Now you're on level two. Ah. Fill up the green bar in the lower left corner. Thank you very much, Arena Foot. Um, so this was included in the first release of the Retron 77, and we played it on July 9th, 2018. Um, originally, we, we didn't play it very much because we had to, we were actually showing off the Retron 77. But we played it for a little bit, and there's a countdown clock there saying how much time left you have to take a picture of it. And that gets more and more difficult. I think. So, yeah, do not take a picture of the clouds or it resets to zero. Yeah, you're pretty screwed. <laughs> pretty screwed for a while. And it's dangerous doing that because it can reset. Yeah. Okay, go way down can. there. There you go. Yeah. Um, that means I just... Goals, fill the health bar before the score reaches zero. Don't observe clouds. Uh, game mode one gets harder uh, with standard increments. Game mode two has random levels. Flip, difficulty switches. Oh, you're dead? You yep. got three. Okay, my turn. Um, if you could read out from there. Today, the box version of Astronomer came out in conjunction with the Orinoid Orion, Orionid Meteor Shower. Take a look outside if you can. To celebrate this, we have released a patch that, any, that anyone can win. <laughs> anyone? Oh, we have released a patch that anyone can win. I thought it was a patch for the game, which made oh. it so that any old idiot <laughs> could win this version. <laughs> it's not hard anymore. <laughs> all the hard. idiots can win. Just for today, it's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> if you have the cart or the boxed edition, then shipping is free. Otherwise, you need to pay a small fee for shipping. The patch comes with a special letter. To win, you will need to get a score of 20 in any game mode and send it to the, and send it in a screenshot to the email in the flyer. Feel free to post them here, too. To buy the game, go to packratvg.com and use the order form for the ROM to go to the astronomer. Use the order form. For the ROM, go to the astronomer thread. Yes. Ooh, I'm getting really lucky. Really lucky stuff here. Oh, it's different each time? Yeah. Different clouds, different star. No, 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 no. What? I didn't press the button. Oh, probably because it went off the screen. I don't know if I like paddles. They're a little too jumpy. Oh, no. It was amazing. <laughs> Seriously. You could track really? it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I played with joystick, and I think joystick's a little bit easier. Uh, I don't think I can do it with a joystick. I <sighs> don't think I can do it with a joystick. Okay, you want to do yours with a paddle? I got four. I'm going to switch to joystick. So we have to get 20 in this game. I got four that last round. Um, the world record is held by S. Ramirez, 2008, and his record is 28 points. Um, so I just have the ROM, so if we, if, if we happen to get 20, which I don't know if we will, but we'll try, um, we will have to pay a small fee for them to ship. This is a tough one. Too blocky. And start. Should be able to get the whole I think that the paddles are a bit jumpy too, which is not great. Oh, is that fourth? Number five, it can beat me now. Ah, uh, 
36 seconds. <laughs> oh my god, huge penalty for the star leaving your view. Holy crap. It like took off like 30 seconds. So you really almost have to get it all in the one go. Yeah. So let's try it with the joystick now. I think I, at least I will do better. I think you could see that I clearly was better off with the uh, paddle. Well, like be I, better I than I do with the paddle at least. But you have not tried the joystick. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to uh, keep it on line like that with the joystick. There's just no chance. There we go. I may have to reset, but maybe not. We'll see. First when it's in those corners, it makes a lot of difference. Has anybody else uh, watching got a patch for this yet? Or what is everybody's high score in this? Uh, so close to the clouds. Kev is heading it's to work. It's weird, but sometimes you start off with some green. You started this one with some, and I'm pretty sure I started with some. Oh, that's weird. See? Oh. Hmm. So maybe you always start with one bar. That's the minimum. It's a cloud. Ah, uh, uh, get out of here. It's fast. Oh, my God. Is it going to leave the screen? No. Where to go? Lots of time. Yay! What level am I on? Four or five? They're not the same, I guess. The levels now, it's pretty random. I haven't got that three cloud thing, and that's one's difficult. The first one is always the same, though. It's one cloud that doesn't move. Yeah. Oh, uh, there's. Here, huge penalty. Time is gone and dead. Oh, oh, you lose oh, you lost, and I lost all my. That's the viewing. big thing: is you, you, know, you, you lose. You start over. You lose time, and you start over. It's pretty much death. <laughs> like, you might as well die. Like. It puts it down to nothing, and you have no time left to do it. So, I don't know... I think it's going to be down to luck whether we to 20 because the three fast three moving clouds is the hard one that both of us have had trouble with and not been able to to pass Oh, there you go. 
How's the joystick compared to the paddles? Worse. <laughs> worse. It's okay, but it's yeah. worse. Uh, okay. I guess the paddles are a little bit more precision. But it's not it's not a disaster like I thought it would be. I could probably get used to it, but like right. I mean, with the paddle. Ah! Disaster! I don't know if you lose time with the uh, with clouds. No, you lose all your progress. And because you you start with some progress so that you have something to lose. Did you actually lose the initial? Mm -hmm. It went to zero? Yeah. Oh. That's what happens when you That's just mean. When you fiddle with the clouds. Clouds <laughs> do not appreciate being fiddled with. What was that? Go check out what Atari did. Oh, oh no. death. Death. It's the three cloud again. Mm hmm Because there's just so little time. Well, we still have some time left, but you still have cloud interference. Uh. <laughs> yeah, 25. And go! 18, 17, 16. Okay. That is a tough... Oh. Oh. And there's noise! <laughs> Can't have that. <laughs> Six. Was that mine? Six? Yeah. Not like it's 20, or close to 20. So. What was six? The score. Six levels. Where did it I say that? Uh, on the title screen. Unfortunately, it doesn't say it on this screen. I had a good one there so last time. It. Like, oh, I did erase them. Yep. So you have to kind of be careful. Like, you don't know when you're going to complete it, though. So you're not Seriously? Gonna that, yeah, that was, that that was, was a load very of unfair. Beeswax. That was. We're going to put a star really low in the sky. And if you move fast, and you have 10 seconds, which is impossible. Yeah. It could happen any game when you hit the cloud. So you don't know exactly. Because you don't know where the clouds are going to be. Yeah. And you don't know when it's going to exactly end. To fill up. Little unfair. See? Like that. Mm -hmm. As soon as it was over, I let go of the button, but it was way too late already. These are three close kind of clouds. The but the star is very low in the sky. You need very little time. Very little time, but. Easier to uh track. At least it's fast moving. Ah. Oh yeah, death, death, instant death. Yeah. But it's low, so the clouds are really gonna interfere. That is one advantage of the paddle. Yeah. Like, oh, Am I gonna make it? Oh my god, just. This one should be doable. Even though the star started in the middle of the screen. But Uh, this one should be the cloud too. Fast moving cloud, high arc. Come on, 20 points. <laughs> Give me that patch. So I got the Space Cactus Canyon patch. Yeah. Does anybody know uh, if there's any other games that have patches that have been put out? Homebrews, not original. There's tons of original Activision games with patches. I can do another show on that and try and get another patch for another game. I don't know of any other one. I can do this one. No. Ah, yes. Can we do a roll one? You can almost tell right away whether you're going to get screwed on a level or not. By the speed and height of the sun, yeah. or the star, and the speed of the clouds and the density of the clouds. Like these clouds are moving fast, but. But they get out of the way. But they get out of the way quick. The, the worst one is when the star moves at 
with the clouds, and you yeah. just don't have it's your only opportunities are super tight the whole like time. Like that, yeah. pointless. You just have to wait for the clouds, or they're yeah, slow moving. Yeah, clouds. they're slow and they stay in the way the whole time. And I've had ones like that. And you just have no opportunity. And I just wasn't happen. sure. I wasn't even sure. What happened there? I don't know. Must what happened there? Time. No, it was still counting down. Well, I wish I could rewind. Eleven. I can later. Maybe. I can later, but at that point, I will not care. You're done. You're done. <laughs> Starfire had patches. Oh well, can't get those now. If they had patches, I'd have to complete the game or do whatever, and then buy it off somebody who got a patch, as if anybody would sell a patch for a moment. It's pretty unlikely. talking about where it's like you have to do it now you can't yeah. wait no it's not like it's, it's going with clouds. come on come on clouds come on <laughs> you did one one more dot <laughs> no Whoa. and wait Click on that patch. Oh, very nice patch. Zype Starfire Elite Squadron. Very cool. I guess it's unavailable now, so I will not be able to get it. That is that's a, a fairly big issue with homebrew, is that it's very difficult to get things once they're gone mm -hmm. because the people that have the homebrew are not giving up that. Yeah. I mean, once in a while homebrew goes on sale that are things that are unobtainable like sold out stuff, discontinued things, but it's so rare. It's super, super rare. Someone's spouse has to be really mad. Yes, you must have. You must be in the doghouse <laughs> for something. Or you're just done. You're done. You need money or... No! Ah! Combined, they're fast. It's a high arc. Should I bother? A little bit. <laughs> Helps. Ah, a low one. Just have to be on it. Really quick. Actually, you can do this. Other times it was just not as I can't follow it. First 50 patches. What does that say? Were issued between 200 and 32. 2003. Probably 2003 and 2005. <laughs> it's a long no, time. No, it's ago. between 200 and 32,005. <laughs> oh, that's. So they're still available? <laughs> <laughs> that game was made a long time ago. <laughs> oh, he clarified What happened? Did I run out of time again? <sighs> I have got two unattainable homebrews in six months. Boulder Dash and Thrust Combat Pack. Oh, I wish I could get Boulder Dash. That would be a really good one. Um, Ladybug Special Edition? I do have that one. Um... The ones I would want is Princess Rescue and Boulder Dash. Okay, let's try again. Nine. Oh, terrible score. <laughs> None of them had been that three where I just had. 
haven't been able to get it. Oh no! Level two. What we have my own doing? <laughs> I can't. This is what I was talking about, where it's like, oh, oh and you reach the impossible level. Yeah. And now I have to finish it before it gets to the bar. Maybe. 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 Can't go any lower. Oh my god! Like down to the pixel mm. on level two. Flip right down to the other far side now. Yes, death on level three. Well, I hit the cloud. That's my fault. Punishment. Oh, maybe I'll be able to do it. No, no, it's with the clouds again. But yeah, I could have flipped right over because there's kind of two. You're gonna have to get it ahead of that cloud a bit because it's. No, it's too late yeah. now. Welcome. You're welcome. I don't even know what happened that time. I probably want to reset now. Reset. Oh, on that level that I was playing. Cool crab has returned. Did you upgrade? Did you phone your ISP? Did you upgrade <laughs> your your speed. Hey. Welcome back, hey, cool crab. Just suffering. Uh, don't claw, please don't. I know it's fun, and that's how you show that you're excited. Don't, <laughs> please. <laughs> you know, scratching board upstairs. The only part he understands is no. The yeah. please part is lost. And cats are very. Well, some cats are very bad. They're very they will contrary. Do, they will do things on purpose that they know is bad. Yeah, because they're contrary. And, yeah, and they'll stare at you, too. Be like, huh? Well, I What's that? This. Don't poop on your desk and use these papers as <laughs> confetti to cover it up? <laughs> I will do just that. Thank you for the suggestion. That's a great idea. <laughs> Starfire won Stan Awards for Best Homer in 2003. I'll have to add that to my two playlist for my digging in the archives kind of games. I try and do a mix once in a while of an old game, usually new games and old games in the same, same kind of show. Because otherwise, I will run out of new games pretty damn quick. Luckily, it's about like 20 years <laughs> to go through. Not as many in the beginning, but there's still plenty. Plenty, plenty. It's coming. Oh, it's coming. Stay ahead of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! That's unfair! Unfair! Random unfairness. And I have to switch over. Come on. Can I make it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I guess. The I'm sure the game is made so that it's possible. it's possible at every level of where the star is in the sky. But, but it doesn't clouds, seem like it. It seems BS sometimes. It does. The clouds make it not possible yeah. in some situations. And there's a bit of luck happening. Especially with those low ones. With the low ones you can go all the way to the left and all the way to the right. Fast cloud, medium low, star, not a bad combo if I if I do it right. Countdown clock is getting more brutal, that's for sure. Yeah, it's way lower. It was up to like 150 when we begin the game. Now it's like barely enough time. That's why I've been running out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh damn it. that 
but and it reset. Can you do it in three seconds? No, because it reset. Ten. Star. I don't think Starfire was on the show. I don't remember playing that. I don't remember what it looks like though. It's it's one of those generic names that's like fire and space yeah, and yeah. war and every combination of those things. Yeah. It's like no. Space Starfire War. <laughs> There's plenty of those in the original. <laughs> Just ten more. Just I, <laughs> I know. just need to double it. Only half like I'm halfway there. It's almost there. You know. Stop being so terrible though. Oh, keep the yellow line on the yellow star. <laughs> yes. And press the button. Oh, it's on. What time is it? It is 2.11. 2.11? We're getting bonus minutes. <laughs> bonus minutes. Which is almost every show. <laughs> we always go over two hours. Is it on your list to come? Oh, it's on my list. Oh, okay, cool. So I will refocus my uh, efforts Actually, on... Double our efforts. Double our, double our efforts on uh, Starfire. To my two playlist. Not slowish clouds, but not too bad. Come on, get out of the way. All clouds are evil. Yes. They're fluffy white clouds. is so simplistic like in terms of understanding it and just doing it execution medium to hard oh god i hit it but that oh, oh my hurry. god i'm dead i'm so dead, I'm so dead. <laughs> and then i hit it again maybe i'll get it in this pass it's pretty high i might oh, if i stop doing that. Oh, the time is the problem. Yeah. Do you get to keep your time from... Well, maybe. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe I'm just... Maybe it gives I'm you a little bit of time. So you know, 45 that time. 45? Yeah, maybe it carries over. And maybe doing it quickly is part of uh, the thing. Yes. That might be a perfect nuke. Oh, the time. Oh, I see. You know what? I really don't think. <laughs> it gives you 30 every time you fill the bar. Oh, so it does add. Not that I'm messing around. That's why astronomers hate clouds. <laughs> Doing it quick is the way to go. Okay, yeah. well, with that in mind, I will play once more. Mm -hmm. I don't think my game style will change. I, yeah, I don't think that... I think you were always going as quick as, as you could. Yeah. But... Uh... Maybe I was messing around a little bit on these easier levels, but I don't think so. I think it was like, yeah, no, no, I'm doing as best as I can, but I will concentrate more on like not letting it out of my second time. Because a lot of these recent games are me running out of time. Well, that's the only way you can. No. <laughs> you always run. Oh, yeah, you always run. But that's that seems to be a major factor, though. Yeah. Rather than me just not just doing it wrong and, and hitting the clouds or whatever. Hitting the clouds doesn't take your time, though, does it? No. It just takes your life. It only takes your life, not your freedom. <laughs> That's what's important. <laughs> perfectly aligned. Damn, perfectly aligned clouds. Exactly the rotation of the Earth in relation to these stars. And they're messing with me. <laughs> it 
It's the end. This is obviously a greatly sped up rotation. That's where where the paddle would come in handy. I can see. It is getting it back over. I'm keeping my time up pretty high now, actually. Yeah. So maybe. Oh, I think it's luck, honestly. I think you've had really doable ones. Um. Yes, I have. There was one there was not so easy. It seems to give you a gimme, and then it takes it down to nothing the second time you um, hit the cloud. Whoa, that's a fast moving cloud. Holy crap. Which is good and bad. Because it only wasted time. Well, not doing too bad. 100 seconds still. It's moving two clouds. That's good. So doing it quick is the way to go. Correct programming the game. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh, my, my top time is now being reduced though. you done game over it's game yes, over it man is, it's, it's game, game over. over it is they won't even be high enough they didn't get it go don't okay. give up okay <laughs> i do have time not much. not much and then i won't have much time on the le next level except start doing it better now a lot better i maybe can make it if those clouds move 11, tied my top. <sighs> try to stay around. Well, I would like to try. I, I did mess up there. I hit a cloud. I hit a cloud. I totally messed up. You're doing well. Well, thank you, Cole Crab. But I think that is game over. I'm very far from 20. Even though that strategy was working a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll give it another try later because i do wednesday. want that patch mm -hmm. um, maybe he'll be trying again on wednesday no nah, maybe not that soon we'll see we'll see how many games i can find to play and we <laughs> might throw this in at the end again and hey, Pix. hi you're looking proud you doing buddy um so i haven't even planned the games for next wednesday i barely scraped together these for today because i was running behind a little bit um but uh, Thank you, everybody, for coming in. So I have nothing to announce for next Wednesday. <laughs> what we're playing. <laughs> Fluff. Games. Games will be played Games. next Wednesday. We will be playing Atari 2600 Homebrew Games next Wednesday. Um, <laughs> so thanks to Cool Crab and Arena Foot, Ice Bosta, Thrust 26, Ground Trooper, Spindly 1970, uh, Deanoids. Who else? Kev73 joined us. Gretums, uh, Deanoids, did I already said Deanoids? Who else? Who else? I think I covered most people that were chatting recently. Um, so thanks for checking out the show, and remember to go to the Atari Age forums and vote for your favorite homebrew, because those are coming up pretty quick on the 23rd, actually the next time you're here. Next time you're here is going to be the Atari Award show. Because we're not doing it on the Friday. There's no show on the Friday because the Atari Awards on the Saturday in two weeks. Right. Um, so tomorrow in two weeks is the Atari Awards. The cutoff for voting is on the 18th. So make sure you get your votes in for all 10 categories before that time runs out. You're very welcome, Cool Crab, to feature it. We did show your game on uh, the Retron 77 show. 
Um, but we wanted to, I wanted to revisit it again because we didn't give it a full playthrough that time. And we tried to get 20 points. I got over halfway. I like I'm that you can use the... Uh, oh, we're not full. There we go. The, uh, the paddle. paddle. Yeah, and I think I might want to try the paddle next time and get better at using the paddle because there is definite advantage doing the quick flipping to the left and the right. Yeah, it's just a matter of like getting used to turning it just a little bit. And I found it yeah. easier to to adjust a little bit on that than with the joystick. The joystick is so like tap tap. Yes. You know? And I have and I was making some mistakes here and there with yeah. the joystick by not tapping it enough or yeah. yeah. So I think using the superior input but getting better using the superior uh, just a note, yep. earlier we noticed that the colors have matched up, and I notice now they no longer match up. <laughs> ah, so it was yes. just a fluke. It was a coincidence. Yeah, the IRC. It doesn't pass, pass the color information. It just, it randomly assigns colors, I guess, to madness. the people's names. Madness. It is madness. So we will return next Wednesday. Uh, I will. You'll be back next sat uh, two Saturdays from now. <clears throat> And we'll be right eh, dying. Uh, we'll be dying. <laughs> <laughs> Dead <laughs> and I, already. And I have no water left. Um, so I will try and finish off the show by yelling. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll be back uh, 11 a.m. next Wednesday. And so we will see everybody then. Thanks for tuning in. And make sure you go vote for your favorite homebrew. So see you next time. Bye-bye.